<clears throat> in his novel, uh, Gentleman in Moscow, Amor Tolls introduces us to one of the most memorable characters in modern literature. Count Alexander Ilyich Rostov is a Tsarist relic, a consummate gentleman, and an aristocrat. Among his many endearing qualities, perhaps my favorite, is what Tolls describes as the Count's devotion to a life of the purposefully unrushed, in which the Count takes great satisfaction when assuring his friends that a worldly matter can wait in favor of a leisurely lunch or a stroll by the river. A few years ago, another exemplary gentleman and former teacher at NIS stood in front of an open mic and graced those of, a, those of us fortunate enough to be present with his ode to the Allman Brothers 34 minute musical journey called Mountain Jam. In connecting with this song as he had done many times in his 50 some years, Charlie shared, I'm beyond a point of ambition in my life and I've moved into an era where I'm focused on the transcendent moments that coalesce out of routine activities. Several summers ago, I had the opportunity to climb on my bicycle and ride across North America, from Canada to Mexico, along the spine of the Rocky Mountains. For 65 days, I pedaled among peaks and overpasses, and for 64 nights, I slept under ink black stuck skies, and under an ink black sky crowded with stars. Along the way, I swam in pristine rivers, and I wandered through dense forests. I lay in meadows filled with flowers, and I napped under ancient trees. In essence, my journey was one devoted to a life purposefully unrushed. And many, many times along the way, transcendent moments coalesced out of routine activities. It's no accident or coincidence that such moments are the fruit of deliberate, unhurried days. And when enough of those days are woven together in what we call a life, it naturally produces gentle men and women. It is the unrushed life that not only allows us to connect with the world around us, but with ourselves. And when, we connect, when we're connected with ourselves, we connect more easily with others. Unfortunately, as connected as our students are in many ways, I sense that their lives are still frenetic and overstructured. And perhaps there's not enough time for those transcendent moments to coalesce out of their routine activities. As an educator, I have some misgivings about my role in this, having hurried my students from benchmark to benchmark and inundated them with curriculums in an already fleeting childhood. And so I wonder, where in our curriculums do we advocate for and nurture the purposefully unrushed? Where do we teach our students to recognize and celebrate those transcendent moments. And when do we sit with them and look them in the eyes and ask, tell me, what will you do with your one wild and precious life?